I don't really do anything too crazy to wash the bike. I know a lot of people like use brushes and whatnot, like deep color brushes to get in there. Now, I usually do do that. However, um, I don't have my brushes with me. They're in my apartment and I forgot my key at my girlfriend's house, so I can't get them. But mainly I just use, we have this, uh, we have this here sick power washer here. And we've got it on like a pretty uh, open header, so it's not going to take any of the decals off. But I usually just do a no-touch wash. Now today, where I've got a lot of that extra grime and dirt in the wheel wells, uh, I'm going to have to touch up with a, an actual like scrubber or rag or whatever. But um, a lot of times, I literally do a touchless wash. I'll give it a really nice good power wash, and then I'll give it the uh, foam cannon off of this thing. And then I'll wash it all off again, rinse it, and then I use a blow dryer or a, a leaf blower. Sorry, a leaf blower. If I use a blow dryer, I'm like, <laughs> but I use a, a leaf blower and dry it off. So you'll see everything right now. Sit there for I don't know maybe three to five minutes and that's literally just to get some of that excess water off you can see it's all still pouring but I mean the wheels look a lot better there's still some spots that I missed I didn't have my correct tools with me um, and I had my correct tools with me I can make it look a lot better but I don't have my like wheel scrubbers or anything so kind of had to work with what I got today uh, mirrors everything looks good front looks damn a hell of a lot better there's bugs all over it. Everything looks pretty good. I'm satisfied with the with the wash itself. Um, again, not that detailed of a wash. Didn't get out the, the the brushes or anything, but overall a decent wash. The only thing that really sucks about washing the bike here is if you can see it, all that nasty dirt out there that I have to walk it through after. That really sucks. All right, we've let it dry here for a few minutes. We don't want it to get any spots on it, so we're gonna go ahead and start uh, using that leaf blower on it. Fortunately, I only have access to the uh, electric leaf blower today. If we use the gas power one, then it dries that thing off instantly. Now, whenever I leaf blow this, I try to follow the aerodynamics of the bike. So I start from the front, go up to the top, try to push it down and back.
Well, I just tried to go grab the other battery pack for that leaf blower. Some of the other idiots that use this garage don't know how to put it back on the damn charger. So the other battery was just like literally sitting on top of the charger, but it wasn't plugged into where it would charge, like the battery pack wasn't slid in. So we only had that one battery and now we've got a partially dry bike again. So I don't know. But anyways, we'll go ahead and get this bike out of here and uh, I guess see how she looks in the sun with wet still on it. All right guys, and this is how the wash turned out. Um, had to go to the park to get some sunlight. The sun is quickly going down on us, so kind of uh, hard to get really nice bright light on it, but I mean, you can tell it looks a heck of a lot better. I could have done a little bit better on the wheels. Um, the back wheel too is you know, a little bit dusty up under there, but it does look way, way, way better than it did before. But yeah guys, appreciate y'all watching the video. If you guys did get any washing tips from this, uh, let me know down in the comment section below. If it helped you out in any way, drop a like. And if you want to see more, make sure you subscribe, okay? Appreciate you guys. Peace. Goodbye.